Okay. Driving an automatic car is simple. Mm -hmm. So let's go. There we go. Okay. So this is it. First of all, after checking the water and everything inside the car, you just insert your key to the key knob. You turn your key on. You step on the brake because this is automatic. You step on the brake. Then, why you step on the brake like this? You see, for automatic, there are only two paddles. This one is the brake, and this one is the accelerator. Okay. So after turning on the key, you will see this plenty light on the dashboard. Good. The door is open, so you see the door open. You have the steel wheel, then you have the oil light. This is it. The oil light and everything. Then you turn your key on. The RPM will shoot to two when the engine settles, it will come down. You just check it, watch it carefully. You see that it is coming down. So the sound of the engine will change and the engine will settle down very good. You see, it is coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down to the one. Now the engine is settled. Okay, let's come to the gears. Automatic, this one is P for parking, the R is for reverse, the N is for neutral, then the D is drive. You see, the D is drive. Okay, the driver, we have negative and positive. The negative, assuming you are driving on a rough road or at a place where you don't want to speed up. So when you, you change the gear, you bring it to the negative. But at the normal speed, you just use the D, that is the positive, and you move on. This is a Kia So So what we say now, the gear, some some of the gears has a lever at the side others like the other video i showed you earlier on that one you press the gear down before you change you place the gear lever down before you change but this one has a knob at the side so what you do is that you press the knob you press it inside you press it inside before you change your gear Parking, short form for parking is P. Short form for reverse is R. Short form for neutral is N. Short form for drive because it will not go here. M kwaha. And it's normal and short short say now. Okay. Before then, you have to make sure you put on your seat belt. After starting the car like this, you can leave the brake and the accelerator. Good. If you check the dashboard, you will see that the gear is on P. Okay, now changing it to reverse, you see that the light has switched to the R. When you check the dashboard, you will see that the P has ch changed from P to R. Now I'm taking it back. I'm taking it back to the P. You see that it has come to P. Okay, now let's take it to neutral. One, two, that is the end. You see that the end light has been on. If you check the dashboard, you see that it is end. So assuming you are going and you don't know where the gear lever has been placed at, but you check the dashboard, you find it there. I'm taking it to D. You see, it has changed to D. D negative. You see, this is the negative sign, the negative time. That is one. You see, this is it, one. Say a manual color, 
So what the two first gear that is one and we had the full be power no ordain. Then after that you had the sun be power into an enco speed. When you put it at the negative sign, at the negative level, at the negative side, the car doesn't go speed. Yeah, the car doesn't go speed. So that is the one. So if you want your normal trip, you the normal speed of the car, then you take it from the negative sign and bring it to the normal side that is the positive that is the d the drive so starting from up that is parking reverse neutral drive negative so that is it now to move on your seat belt like this after putting on your seat belt you make sure you step you make sure you step on the brake. After stepping on the brake, then you change your gear to wherever you want to go. If you want to go back, you place it at reverse. If you want to go forward, you place it at D, that is right. So bringing it to D. As soon as you remove your leg from the brake, the car will start moving like this. Now the car is going. And uh, now the car is going. Very good. You step on it, you bring it to D uh, out. That is reverse. You see that the car will be coming back reverse like this. Because it's automatic, as soon as you place it at where you want to place it, the car will I mean adjust or perform the kind of gear that you have selected. Neutral. When you place it on neutral and the car is on the level ground, it will not go, it will be neutral idle. So on neutral, you can place your handbrake and that will be all. Okay. In this case, the car is on neutral. Neutral, assuming the car has developed any fault or something like that, and you need to push the car, you have to bring it to neutral so that it will not be in any gear or on any gear that one you can push the car and pack it at a safe place okay this is the handbrake this is the handbrake as usual the handbrake will be down when the car is going the handbrake will be down when the car is going the handbrake will be down as the car is going when you park the car you have to bring up the handbrake so like this you bring up the handbrake when you want to press it down you see this white knob you press it down then you bring the handbrake down that is all anything at all that you want to see anything at all that you want to know just place it at the comment section and i will come and respond for you now let's do the starting so let's now go. I'm going to work. So first of all, my seat belt. Close my door. <coughs> now it's time for a new driver to come and pick up the car. So let's move on let's go let's go let's go now everything that i thought at first is going to be exhibited first of all your seat belt you put in your key you check up your handbrake then everything so driving an automatic car is very much simple like comment and share
so as i thought in the first video this air conditioning outlets over here the last one that close to the window is the alignment of the car tie or the ties so you'll be in the car but you might know where the ties are all right so we will end here for today's tutorial that is our new driver mm -hmm. our new driver give us two give us two give us two <laughs> that's our new driver so subscribe comment and share let's hear from you at the comment section thank you